still terrified woman says it only took five seconds for a crazed man to break down her front door and start beating her and her husband with a baseball bat. She just got out of the hospital. Her husband may never get back all of his cognitive functions. And that alleged attacker is not in jail. He's free on bond. And good evening. Thank you for choosing Denver 7. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Ann Trujillo. The victim tells us she's afraid to go home and afraid for the lives of her three young children. The Loveland woman bravely shared her story with Denver 7's Jessica Porter. Amy Trimble says her husband Gerald had just moved back in after a brief separation. He had been living with a friend of the family. His name, Andrew Matthews. Court documents say that Andrew was upset that Gerald had moved out. So he grabbed a baseball bat and headed to the couple's home for revenge. The first blow would have been enough to get the point across if he were trying to do anything besides kill somebody. Just a few days ago, Amy Trimble was still in a wheelchair, her legs black and blue from the attack with a wooden baseball bat. Her husband, Gerald, recovering from brain surgery with six inches of his skull removed. A couple days ago, he didn't even know his name or he thought I was mom. His cognitive skills are coming back. Uh, we were doing some physical therapy earlier. Um, he's at about a fifth grade level as far as everything, which is very difficult because beforehand he could pretty much build a house from top to bottom. He was a contractor. According to an affidavit, the couple was attacked by Andrew Matthews. Gerald was living with Andrew, but when Gerald moved out, that's when things took a turn. He went over to their house and broke down the door, wearing a white t-shirt over his head. But you don't realize how much time you don't have to react in those situations. You literally had a manner of five seconds before he busted down the door to where he was hitting us with a bat. He just started swinging the bat repeatedly. Eventually, I just couldn't take any more hits and I ended up on the floor. A neighbor threatened to get his gun, which may have caused Matthews to leave. Matthews was arrested and charged with two counts of attempted murder. Trimble says he was able to bond out of jail. It's very hard. Uh, my kids don't even know what happened. We had to tell them we were in a car accident just so that they weren't scared. Trimble is glad their three children were not there at the time. Now she's terrified to go home. We just need a little bit of help right now. Um, it's going to be a long recovery process. Gerald faces months of therapy and another brain surgery as his family prays his cognitive skills come back. His family has a GoFundMe account with a goal of $10,000 to pay for medical bills and relocating. Andrew Matthews has his first court appearance tomorrow morning. And Shannon.